Welcome to TR King Insurance Marketing Agent Podcast. Uh, today we have with us Stephen Darrington. Uh, we have to thank him for being with us today and taking some time out of his day. Uh, Stephen, you're still there? Yeah, no problem. No problem at all. Anything I can do to help. All right. And we're going to start with our first topic, and then that, uh, that is what made you want to sell insurance and get into the insurance business? Well, actually, um, I, I actually wanted to go to school to be a pediatrician, and, um, and I, I was in college, um, and I went my freshman year and my sophomore year, and I became a junior, and I uh, I was playing college football. Um, I went Division two to the University of Finley, uh, Finley, Ohio, and because um, I was playing two sports, uh, baseball and football there, and I had transferred to University of Toledo, um, my hometown, and. Uh, See, when I got home, I was, like, kind of homeless, so I didn't have anywhere to live um, at the time, so I kind of, you know, moved in student housing, and, um, you know, and I was going to school, and I was, again, ready to get on the football team uh, for University of Toledo, and uh, my friend, I have seen my friend, he was driving a brand new Chrysler 300, and at the time, I was about 20 years old, and uh, he was like, man, he was like, uh, man, I'm making so much money, you know, doing this, and um, and I was like, how, how did you get that car? He was like, I didn't care what he was talking about because, you know, he just talked, but I seen the car, you know. So I'm like, how did you get how did you get that car? And he was like, well, I sell insurance. And I was like, um, could you give me a job there? He was like, yeah, I probably could, but you have to get licensed. And at the time, I was still going to college, and I was like, well, how do I get licensed? Do I have to take classes? He was like, yeah, you have to take classes. And I was like, wow, man, I'm, I'm already going to school. And I was like, I got to figure something out. So... I had uh, ended up taking the classes to sell insurance, and then um, I ended up getting my license. And um, when I had started working for the company that I had started working for, um, American Income Life, um, I had, you know, uh, started working for the company. And the guy that I was under had told me that I couldn't go to school no more. I, he told me, basically, that I had to make a decision if I wanted to work or did I want to, you know, um, you know, sell insurance. I mean, did I want to go to school? And I mean, I figured I went to school to get a job. So I was like, well, I'm, I'm just going to drop out of school and I'm going to work. And um, my first week uh, as an agent, I actually wrote like $6,000 of business and, and I made about $2,500, you know, and I was like, oh my God, this is unreal, you know. Uh, and at that time, I needed the money so bad, like I just kind of got addicted to writing business, you know, and mm -hmm. um you know, and, and, and then it became, and then, you know, people start dying, you know, it became real to me, like, I'm really helping people at the same time, not only making money, but, you know, I'm, I'm actually writing them up, and, you know, and, uh, and they're, they're benefiting from it, you know, when they pass away, their family have money, and they can take care of funeral, you know, final expenses, and things like that, so that's kind of the reason how I got into insurance. All right, and then, uh, how did your first appointment go? Oh wow, man! I, I my first appointment uh, ever by myself, man. I was I was shaking like crazy, and I I know a lot of brand new agents go through this feeling because you know it's the first time you actually go into a house by yourself, and you know, and you're nervous, and you don't know how it's gonna go. You don't know if it, if it's if this job for you, if you're gonna make money because they tell you it sells, you know, and if you don't sell, you don't make money, you know, and that can be really scary for a new agent. So. Um, I, I kind of, I, maybe this to help out new agents as well, you know, I kind of went in there and, um, I trained really well, you know, and, um, I had a great upline, I listened to everything he told me and, you know, um, I kind of went in there and, and, and I did my presentation and, you know, I went through A, A to B, B to C and went all the way through and made sure everything was on point. And when I got to the end, he was like, all right, let's do it. I'm like let's do it, okay, um, you know, and then I kind of, I kind of got into, you know, asking on the, uh, you know, the health questions and everything, make sure he qualified, and, uh, you know, it was kind of, it was kind of a lucky first time, and, um, and he actually wanted to, you know, uh, he actually wanted to write up his whole family, not only himself, but he wanted to get a policy on his wife and his kids, you know, and it ended up being, I ended up writing them up for like $200 a month for the whole family, so, uh, it was a big, it was actually a big, a really big deal, but, um, I, I thought it was easy after that, you know, and, and it kind of messed me up because I was going into houses and, um, I was, I was, I wasn't, 
thorough, you know, like I was that first sit. So, you know, I start having people tell me, uh, nah, let me think about it, you know, um, I can't afford it, you know, you know, common objections and I uh, start getting hit with that stuff, you know, and I was, I was like, man, hold on, I, I know I just wrote a lot of business, so I don't know if I'll, I'll be able to do this, this is the job for me, but I was like, I can't second guess myself because I did it one time so I can do it again, you know, and, um, you know, and, and I just kind of kept, made sure, you know, as I start going along, I started making sure that I'm hitting every step from A to B, and then, you know, it kind of started coming to second nature, and now, you know, I don't have them problems, you know, it's, it's, it's almost normal, you know, so. Mm -hmm. uh, and what kind of products do you sell? Um, I sell, I love, I love selling whole life insurance, um. Uh, I know it's a lot of policies over there, out, out there, you know, universal whole life, you know, regular whole life, um, and you got term insurance, you know, and accidental. Um, I just kind of like, uh, I mean, and people sell insurance for different reasons, you know, and people buy insurance for different reasons. Um, but me personally, I like to just sell regular whole life insurance because I'm sell selling a burial product, and that's the way I like to pitch it, you know. So um, when I go into a house, you know, I'm, I'm not I'm not selling insurance, you know. I'm making sure that they, they're um, selling burial insurance, make sure they can be buried, they can be put away nice, they got nice funeral, you know, flowers, casket, you know, headstone, um, you know, um, just let them know how much opening and closing in the grave and burial markers, all of that kind of stuff costs. So um, they can kind of get an idea of how much, you know, insurance that they actually need to be buried. Um, so I go as far as uh, I go as far as them being buried actually in the in the uh, in the cemetery and not as far as uh, you know selling it for like to protect a mortgage or like uh, car insurance or you know um, you know they just not want to be left with a you know with a a large bill for their family. So uh, I kind of just go. To, I like I like I'm comfortable pitching a burial route instead of you know um, selling the selling the you know. Um, I know universal life to build cash value, and um, I mean that's some some people way to go the way to sell it. But I just I just I, I like to make sure my retention is good, and that's just the best way to work out for me. And what is your favorite insurance product to sell, and uh, why would it be that product? Uh, my my favorite insurance product is. Uh, like I said, like it is, it is whole life insurance, and um, that's because like what we doing is is really real, you know. Um, I don't know, um, I don't know how it is there in Virginia, but where I grew up, you know, in, in Toledo, Ohio, a lot of people, you know, young, uh, pass away quick, you know, and uh, you know, and this is is. It's it's crazy watching someone pass away and then their family not being able to take care of the burial, watching them pass around the can in a um in a in a funeral or or you know having their family set up a you know a, a donation through a bank or something like that and um just trying to you know get the money to bury a loved one. It's already hard enough that they just lost a loved one, you know, and you gotta and you you gotta come up with money, you know, just in the nick of time just to. The burying them, you know, it's it's so hard on the family, you know, uh, with them going through that. So, I, my my favorite product is the sale is, is whole life insurance, final expense, uh, simply because, you know, uh, what the reason why why we're selling it, you know, the, um, the what it's for, you know, and, and I I don't like families to be going through that situation because um I actually went through that situation when I was younger. Uh, my grandmother um had passed away and she had an accidental policy and she had no idea what type of insurance it was, you know, and um, at the time, I wasn't into insurance. I was young, you know, I was in the sixth grade, so, um, you know, when she passed away, she died of a stroke, you know, and her policy never paid out, um, and, and it was because she had an accidental policy, but if you would have asked her, she said she did, she had insurance, but she did have insurance, she just didn't know what type of policy she had, so, um, you know, whole life is, is the way to go is because, you know, what to me personally, you know, I mean, I mean, to each his own, you know, don't get me wrong, but um, I just like, you know, it pays out no matter what happens, you know, it builds cash value, it never goes up the premium, stays the same, you know, so uh, that that definitely is the, the way to go as far as burial on final expenses. And uh, what is your marketing method that you use for uh, getting leads? Uh, well, Leads are simply people to go see. Um, a lot of people get caught up in leads and get caught up in, you know, uh, I need leads, I need leads. Um, it's, it's just a way of thinking, you know. Um, sales is a transfer of belief, you know. So um, it, it's basically 
who who you go see, you know, and uh, how do you get your people? How do you market yourself? Me personally, I just I, when I go into houses, you know, I I hit on. I hit on, you know, uh, as far as uh, emotion, you know, emotion is, is what brings out, you know, a sale, you know, in a home. And, and, and not only that you're, you're putting emotion on them, you're making them think about everything around them as far as their family, as far as who, who will be the, who will be the, the people that, that come to their funeral, you know, the, the people that sit in the first, first row that cares the most about them, that the people that, that actually love them to the point where it will hurt them if something happens to them. them, them are the people that I try to, while well, I'm there, as far as if I sit down with a person, you know, um, everybody got them people. No matter who you are, you got a few people that, that really cares about you, that you really care about, whether you think so or not, you know. And, um, and then the people that I try to I try to pull out of people while I'm sitting in their house as far as referrals. So I, I, don't, I don't go as far as leads um, because... I mean, who's who's better to sell? Uh, someone that you sold their family that you know knows the other person and knows um, what you're coming there for, and um, and, and know what their family got, know that their family love them. They want to see nobody to them that were doing wrong or anything like that, or a, a, whole, a hard cold, cold lead that sent in a piece of paper and you know um, said they interested in the final expenses. You don't know this guy from Adam and Eve. You don't know you don't know anyone close to them. It's it's harder to start building emotion with that person than rather building emotion with the person. That that, you know, you already have sat down with before their family member. You know, so me personally, I'm a referral type person. You know, and I make sure I collect referrals at every house that I go in, and, and that's the most valuable part of the presentation is referrals because you know um, that that keeps your business going. That keeps you, you know, uh, keeps you being able to sell, and being able to get, keep getting in front of people. Um, but you, I mean, you got to be doing it a certain way. I mean. If you if you going in there and you you just telling people like hey who do you know you know everybody's gonna say they don't know anyone you know that you're fishing you know I mean it's a it's a way to go about it you know to collect referrals you know and um I mean it's it's a whole bunch of different ways and I'm not gonna go into you know all the different ways to collect referrals because there's tons of them you know but um you, you definitely gotta I, I would just say this you know emotion plays a big part in, in drawing referrals from people you know you find out who they love who loves them and you know you go from there you know so. Um, that's, that's my marketing method. And, uh, who is your favorite carrier to work with and, uh, why? Uh, definitely, definitely Settlers Life Insurance Company. Um, right now, that's the, um, pretty much the only company that I'm writing with. Um, Settlers is real family oriented. It's a real family oriented company. Um, when you call, you know, you never get, you always get a live person, you know, and, uh, they're, they always, they're, they're like, they're, they know your name. They don't, when you call, you're not just like a number to them, you know, like, uh, as far as, um, they're like, uh, I need your agent number. I don't know who you are. You know, they, they know exactly who you are. Definitely if you, if you've been writing business, you know, um, so, you know, they transfer you to the right department that everyone knows you, you know, at home office, they send you cards on your birthday and, you know, let you know how much they care about you. They even got different programs as far as, just for you writing business with them, they pay you extra money, you know, benchmark programs, you know, and that don't have nothing to do with the business that you're writing that you're getting paid off of. That That's just extra money, you know, uh, it's for, you, for you just being a partner with them and you writing business with them. Um, me personally, I, I don't know any companies out there that's doing that um, as far as that. Don't get me wrong, it's probably are other companies out there doing that. But I, I just, for me, you know, it is working. You know, I, I love the people there, you know, and they, they love me and, we got a relationship, so um, I, I'm just comfortable writing with them right now, and uh, and I will be for a while, you know. So um, that's who I'm writing with, Settlers Life Insurance Company. And uh, what tips would you give other agents, uh, especially some of the newer agents that are coming in? Uh, don't give up, you know. First of all, you know, you got to be confident in what you're doing, you know. And, uh, um, like I said earlier, you know, sales is a transfer of belief. If you believe, you know, you're doing the right thing for a family, you are. You know, I, um, I, I would, I would say, uh, listen to your upline. You know, first and foremost, you know, um, make sure you get in the business with the right person. You know, make sure they're they're for the right things. Uh, make sure you go to a good agency that take care of their agents. You know, um, just don't just don't go out there. You know, trying to contract with anybody. Um, uh, just make sure you're taken care of, you know, as far as, um, you know, the business, you know, um, just, you know, you gotta, you gotta get with a reliable, you know, IMO or, 
a reliable, you know, upline or reliable company or, or whatever it is you, the route you decide to go. Um, just know who you who you getting in business with. And know they doing you right, and um, I would say just stay confident. And, and you got and it's a grind. You know, it, it's it's definitely a grind. It's, it's not going. It's not going to be easy months. You know, it's it's not going to be super super hard months. You know, as long as you stay constant, stay stay um, productive, then you know things happen. You know. Um, you, you can't be just uh just because you're self employing ten ninety nine can't be just sitting at home and eating bagels all day. That's definitely not gonna get you any money. You know, you gotta you gotta you gotta stay out there, you gotta stay working, you gotta go door knock, you know, run um call your cold cold referrals, call your hot referrals, stay on people, write down people. People tell you to call them back, then put them down, you know, for your call back, keep a notepad. Different days, different times, people you're supposed to call. You know, when I sometimes what happens is uh, uh, you get referrals that don't want to buy it right now. It's just not a good time for them. They definitely want it. You know, they just like right now it's just not a good time. You know, and then a lot of them agents, they'll get discouraged from that. And they like, well, they don't want it right now. I've been trying to call them for two weeks. Well, if you call them the third week, then they'll be ready. You know, you got to just, if they say call them back, they're interested. If they're not hanging up on you and, you know, cussing you out, then, you know, uh, you, you, you're you fine. You know, just, just stay stay consistent and stay stay on them, you know, just keep calling them until they tell you don't call them no more, you know, um, you, you got to just stay active, stay busy on it, you can't sit around and wait for stuff to happen, this isn't the business for that, if you want, if you want to sit around and wait for a paycheck, then you, you might as well go work at Burger King or something like that, you know, I mean, they'll pay you just to stand around, you know, and wait for business to come in, but, you know, uh, this is this is the business for you, you know, but as far as a brand new agent, you know, as long as you're hungry, you, you follow your dreams, you chase your dreams, and the sky's the limit, you know, you can be whatever you want to be in this business, as a brand new agent, when you come in, it's, it's, it's off to the races, you know, how fast can you run, you know, and, um, and not only not only writing as far as writing business, but you want to maintain your business. It's, it's, it's not about an upfront check. It's all about uh, renewals and uh, renewal contingency and, you know, back-end business. It's all about, you know, um, you know, building um, your legacy for your family. You know, when you pass away, um, you know, keeping, keeping your renewals coming in, you know, keeping everything you work for going, you know, instead of, uh, I, I know a lot of, some like, <laughs> some new agents come into the business and they get, they get a, a, a check, you know, as far as a, um, you know, a advance check, and they like, wow, I write this person up for this amount, and I get this amount, you know, oh wow, you know, I, I can, I can just, and then you know, they start, you know, thinking crazy, you know, and you just gotta keep stay level headed, you know, and um, to do the right thing because you know, if you don't do the right thing, then it always come back to bite you, you know. So, um, you just want to say, make sure you stay level headed, like, and, and that all comes with getting under a good manager and getting under a good you know upline and making sure they take care of you and you, you take care of them you know so and then, and then all like i said goes back to the family thing and you know um getting with a company so uh i would just tell a brand new agent you know everything i told them and um and just make sure that they stay productive and stay active and you know just don't quit you know don't give up man those are definitely some uh, good words and uh steven what makes you want to do business with us uh well well tr king um uh, todd man he's he's unlike anybody i ever met man he's the most humble guy um you know out there and one of the you know the best uh as far as knowledge wise you know you can call him it i mean he knows everything you know i know a lot of um some some guys want to lead people and don't know nothing about nothing you know uh, you can't you can't lead an army or lead a team you know if you're not a, if you're not a leader yourself you can't teach someone how how to you know, uh, uh, get up and, and keep going. If you're not, if you're not waking up and keep going, you can't teach someone to wake up at five o'clock in the morning if you're not waking up at five o'clock in the morning. So, um, it, it's it's all a lead by example. You know, and Todd's definitely leading by example. You know, and he's um, he he's awesome, man. I, I never had a, I never had a, a a problem. You know, as far as um, me can keep up or keep a track of my appointments or keep a track of my business, you know, or, or anything as far as that, um, with my upline. Um, and not only that, he, Todd, he, he doesn't, he, he, he based off what he does off the agent. And what I mean by that is 
if the agent wants them, wants him to call him, call them and you know and motivate them and you know and, and, and keep in touch with them and and keep them going, he does that. You know, he'll call, he'll he'll give you his personal cell phone number. You say, hey, give me a call. You know, if you need me or you know um any anything you need, just call me. I'm here for you. You know, he'll sit on the phone with you and walk you through your appointments or walk you through a uh, appointment setting. You know, or um walk you through getting help with referrals or whatever it is that you need. You know, he's there for you. You know, some lines don't do that they 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 not there they're not available they they're too busy to be able to sit down with a brand new agent and show them you know the ropes or show them how to collect the referral or just a simple door knock you know um and, and some and brand new agents get lost in the business because they don't know nothing and it's not because they don't they don't know it it's because they were never taught it you know and um uplines are just not teaching their agents and not you know informing their agents the information so you know, they're getting lost in the sauce, you know, and then they go from company to company to company because they can't find a good home. So, you know, if you, if, if agents are looking for a good home, you know, T uh, TR King Insurance Marketing is definitely a place to be. Um, you know, it's a lot of great managers here. You know, it's got a lot of good people that can show you the business and show you the way, um, you know, um, and Todd's definitely one of them. You got Matt, you know, um, myself, you know, and, and a, a couple more people, you know. So um, if you want to, if, if it is if it is a place for a brand new agent to come and be home, and, and if they don't, if they are good at the business and they don't want no one calling them and bugging them, hey, man, that's totally fine, man. Go out here and do your thing. Just make sure you do your thing and do it right, you know, and, and we'll back you 100% however way you want to do it, you know. So um, it's, no, it's no place like that that you can get it get both ways you know uh it's either you're getting it all one way or all the other way it's no in between you know so here's whatever you want you know we'll help you with and what is your favorite thing uh, about trk insurance marketing uh i, I like i like it, um as far as like um like I, I'm a big family person, you know. I'm I love my I got a son, you know, a one year old son. You know, I take him around with me everywhere. You know, almost all my policy holders know him, you know. So uh, I love the family element, you know. And, and T R King, you know, it's it's a family element, you know. Uh, um, Todd uh, takes care of his agents as if they were his own sons, you know, um, brothers, you know, um, family, you know. And, and and that's what type of place it is here. Um, at T R King so um you can you can build a lasting relationship and you can be here for the long haul and don't have to worry about job security or don't have to worry about, you know, someone taking your renewals or taking whatever you did or, you know, doing wrong by you. That that's not that's not that's not here, you know. big Christians, you know, big believers in and God and you know and we take care of uh, uh agents and um <clears throat> and Todd Todd you know he he's the man man I, I he I like I take my hat off to him because you know he's so humble and you know and for him to do the thing don't be doing the things that he's doing you know he's he's man he's one of a kind you know so um I got mad respect for him you know and uh I, I just appreciate the way that he does me you know and take care of me and and I'm home, you know, so I would never be going nowhere again. And and that that comes comes from, you know, I, I'm not not to be talking me up, man. I'm Stephen Darrington, you know. I I've been I had a million dollar agency, you know, and uh, I'm 25 years old, you know, and I had a million dollar agency at 23 years old, you know. So um, I, I've been I've been hitting kind of numbers and you know on a on a higher scale level and. You know, and I kind of been around the business a little bit, and I know different people in the business, and I know different companies and, and company owners. You know, company owners fly, flew me down, you know, to meet with meet with them, and you know, sit at their, their dinner table in their mansion. So, you know, um, I've been there and did that. So I met a lot of people in the business, and um, I know I know kind of how people are, and you know, different um, you know aspects as far as insurance. So. Um, I, I can tell you, you know, what's a good place to go and what kind of, you know, hey, man, you want to be careful over there or, or kind of things like that. But, you know, I, I don't I don't talk talk bad about anyone. I kind of let everyone do their own thing in the business because um, you're going to have people that do people wrong. You're going to have people that take care of people, you know. So I just like where I'm at, you know, with TR King Insurance Marketing. And, you know, it's, it's a great a great IMO to be with, um, you know. And if agents start looking for a home, you know, this, I, I might not be the one to, to, to persuade them to come, you know, but, you know, they might hear this and say, hey, man, I, I want to try it out, but it's, I'll tell you what, if, if you do ever try it out, you're not going to go anywhere else, you know, because, you know, you, you're home, you know, and that's exactly how you'll feel and how you'll get treated. 
And uh, what makes us different than other IMOs? There's so many uh, other IMOs and you know small agencies that are trying to grab and recruit agents. Well, um, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this, man. Uh, some some agencies, um, it's it's like I said, it's it's no it's no middle ground. Like here at TR King, we we coach agents how they want to be coached. Um, you guys, you guys, we let you guys let agents be themselves. Like if they're a superstar and they don't want anyone calling or bothering them, so they can write twenty thousand a month. Fine, we do your thing. We'll we'll call you when you need us, or you call us when you need us. But we'll be here for you at that time. But we won't bother you. Or if you're a brand new agent in the business, you want to be coached. You don't know nothing about the business. Then we'll you can call us. We'll we'll walk you through your door knocks. We'll walk you through what happened in the house. What you could have did different. Um, where where you messed up in your presentation. Um, where you need to uh need to go go different with with collecting referrals. Um, the reason why you got three referrals and you didn't get four, or the reason why you got um, 10 referrals and you didn't get 50, you know, so, um, we, we coach agents however they want to be coached. We don't, we don't make it a certain way. Like some IMOs, a lot of IMOs out here, it's only one way, it's their way or the highway. So you either, you either get coached how they want you to get coached or you don't work for them, you know, period. There's no middle ground. So, um, you either come in here and, and, and we call you 15 times a day and, you know, we blowing your phone up and we telling you, you know, you got a conference call at 3 o'clock, no matter what you got to do, no matter if you got to take your son to the doctor, no matter what, where you, you, you got to be on this conference call, you're done. You know, so some IMOs are like that, you know, and a lot of them are, you know, they, they're, it's either you either do what they want to do or, you, or you're or you done, you know, so, um, and, they'll, and they'll just let you go just like that, you know, just because that's the way they do things, you know, and that's just how it is in the business, so, you know, um, you guys aren't are TR King. They're not like that at all. Like you guys let agents be coached how they want to be coached, and and that's it. You know, so um, that's that's a plus. It's just right there. That that sells the whole everything. You know, so um, that's the reason why you know I chose TR King, and that's the reason why a lot of agents here chose TR King. So if that's what agents want to do, if they want, if they kind of want to do their own thing and write business at free will and kill it, or you know and and they don't have to have us, you know, down their back. Or if they want to get coached, then you get coached, you know. So you, you kind of got the best of both worlds there. Well, thank you uh, definitely for that uh, feedback. And uh, we definitely want to thank you for being a part of our team here at TR King Insurance Marketing. And, uh, again, thank you for coming on to this podcast. This is our first podcast ever. Uh, so definitely looking forward to what we can do. And uh, have a great day, Stephen. All right, no problem, buddy. Well, thank you for having me, and um, I hope that I can. Have, I hope that I helped a lot of brand new agents out there in the business and just starting. And um, and like I said, you know, here, you know, if if you're looking for a home and uh, you need somewhere to come to get coached to get better contracts, you know, and um, not only you get coached, you get paid well. You know, you play like Michael Jordan, you get paid like Michael Jordan. So, um, this is the place to be, man. And you know, I appreciate just uh, being here. Uh, part of the TR King Insurance Marketing family, and, um, and I look forward to being here for years to come. Thank you very much. No problem, buddy. No problem, buddy. No problem, buddy. No problem, buddy.